Well, it wasn't easy, but we managed to watch every testicle fail video on the internet. Oh, <gasps> that's a red band trailer. We're not old enough to see that. Sure we are. I just have to enter my birthday. January 1st, 1900. <gasps> Free nudity! I told you to clean your room, and instead you're watching chest videos. Look at all those bowls of half-eaten cereal. The cereal on the bottom gets soggy. I know how cereal works. Don't! I'm done. I'd like it if you ate a little more broccoli. Eh, I'm not feeling it. Your mother said eat your broccoli. <coughs> Milk. That's for babies and old guys who can't sleep at night because of what they did in the war. Broccoli! You'll never outsit me. Oh, really? You think your skinny butt can sit on that hard wooden chair longer than El Gordo? <gasps> well, our fantasy football draft is about to start. <gasps> Today's our draft! I've got to pick a good fantasy team. They've been at it all night. I know, but they're not going to waste a whole Saturday inside. Marge, I want you, my wife, to draft my fantasy football team. <gasps> Draft with God, honey. Eat your broccoli. No, no! I'll never eat those filthy mini trees! Today, I wear the vest. Ha, ha! <sighs> Martin's been secretly taking self-defense courses, and now he's beating up Nelson! <laughs> His fat fists are a blur! Got an idea, but I'll need that broccoli. Bart picks one of the smoothies and drinks it. Maybe he had the broccoli, maybe he didn't. No one knows, so neither of you has given in. <gasps> oh no, the broccoli! <laughs> you did it on purpose! Homer and Bart's problems are beyond our power to solve. There's only one thing left to try. Put my sack back on. I'm trying to sleep. Where are we? I don't know. Eat your broccoli. No. My name is Captain Bowditch. Your wife signed you up for a week at sea, where you live like sailors, eat like sailors. Shouldn't we do something? We are doing something. We're empathizing. <laughs> The relationship. Relationship. It works two ways. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, I'm getting a message from your father's fantasy football league. I must still be logged in as him. Huh? <gasps> Lenny used the uck word. <clears throat> Yikes! Well, I don't like this trash. wants to go first and sing about their feelings, I'll go first and sing about my feelings, I'm so happy to be singing. Now, Homer! <laughs> this man's got scurvy. But we've only been at sea one day. When's the last time you had citrus? I had a mimosa at brunch a few years ago. Look, I did a round turn with two half hitches. You lie! <gasps> Wait a minute. Windswept hair, rugged tan, rough calloused hands? I'm old enough to choose my own things to hate, and the things I like, and I like being a sailor. Betrayed by my worst enemy. But one sailor has truly taken to nautical life. I hereby award Bart Simpson the post of midshipman. <laughs> Can and will order you around. And what if I refuse? Oh? Oh, I hate the golden age of sail. Seaman Homer, you're supposed to be swabbing the deck. Why should I? Just gonna get dirty again. I'm in charge. You do what I say. 
Fine, I'll swap whatever you say. Look. Fantasy football has turned every man in this town into a trash-talking monster. There's only one thing that will shut these guys up. You gotta beat one of them at fantasy football. Desktop gladiator Marge Simpson prepared to lead her husband's team against undefeated trash talker Mo Sislak. Unlocked by the savage power of climate change, allowed Marge's five kickers to launch a long-range campaign of three-point annihilation. A rookie housewife had defeated a savvy veteran, proving conclusively that fantasy football is basically just luck. It's really hard when someone doesn't respect your authority. Epiphany Ho. And I'm sure your father has been doing some growing and learning of his own. You don't need booze, Homer! I went to sea because I'm a recovering alcoholic. I love this boat! With all its pulleys and flappies and everything has a name. The same winds that lofted Marge's fantasy field goals to victory now sent gales of doom toward this vessel of questionable therapeutic value. Don't stand there gawking like a dying fool. Do something, boy. You criticized me. That's all I ever wanted, Daddy. Honest parenting. We can make it to harbor if we can just sail around that lighthouse. Are you crazy? We'll never make it. Drop the anchor and wait out the storm. No, we need to sail. <gasps> now, can we please respect each other? Aye, aye, sir. Another success story for the relationship. <laughs> so, did your sailing adventure help you work out your issues? Does this answer your question? Daddy, could you help us with our school project? We're hunting vampire appliances. Say no more. Mm-hmm. Knack nook, Beatles bunker, left hand lounge. What's this? Ah! Really? 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 Oh, my one weakness. The third really. Come with me. Homer, this is my freezerino. Seriously, I am getting so tired of those stupid flangersisms. It's the name of the freezer. I'll cook this meat, cut it up, and make it into sandwiches. And I will wait and worry. So I cooked the meat, sliced it up, made sandwiches, cut off the crust, fed those to the dog. Still hungry, buddy? Dad, dogs don't know when to stop eating. Lucky. Mom, Dad's imagining me as food again. He does it to all of us. Can someone put butter on me? Kids love them. We trade them at school. They replace cigarettes as our currency. Bubblegum cigarettes? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Marge, see this face? It's opportunity. Blink and you'll miss it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm right behind you. You can't afford not to open this franchise. I'm in. What's your soda refill policy? All you can drink if you buy a jumbo cup. Careful, Marge. That's how I bankrupted a Pizza Hut. Free! I, I just, I, where is it going? Well, well, well. Seems like someone forgot there's a Krusty Burger two blocks away. She did the one thing I never could. Feed him. You're a cool customer, Marge. Your monkey just ate all my turkey. You want some monkey meat to replace it? No. Slow fat. Why, my dad spent his whole life at one company. Started in the basement mailroom and ended his career jumping out the window from the top floor. Ooh. You're hired. Okay, so I don't want to do anything that will ruin my manicure. Well, then why do you want this job? So I can get manicures. Duh. Say there, buddy, are you interested in our two-for-one Tuesday? I never would have been till I got this flyer. Oh, customers between two and four. Hey, Tony Roma's wasn't built in a day. But don't worry, I told everyone about this place. What's wrong? Mother Hubbard Central expects you to buy a lot of stuff from them. Uniforms, fixins. <gasps> Shh! 
Shauna, I saw that. I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, that's what holds them up. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm down two employees and it's the afternoon rush. <laughs> Thank you, homie. Why does this have to be so hard? This is so sad. In his homeland, Dad was a nuclear engineer. Oh, I was short-staffed and your father volunteered. Would I kill one of you to wash a bell pepper? Um, I'm not sure this is the best use of my skills. I said wash, and Bart, go work the deep fryer. Guys, this is gonna be hard for a while, but we'll get through this as a fam. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I see What the hell is that? <gasps> They're opening another Mother Hubbard? Uh, Chief, uh, who are you fooling with this one sandwich a day diet? John Hall Wheat, Lou. Cleans up your insides. <laughs> they can't beat us because we're family run. Ah! You bullies! I'm working the drive through There is no drive through no, thank you. Who is this? Simpson, introduce me to this almond-eyed beauty and all is forgiven. Homer, if I ever seem that senile, get a gun and... What are you doing with that gun? Sir, maybe we should go? Sorry you died. Put the body with the others. Seen pants do this? <gasps> You're working so hard, you've lost weight. We're killing ourselves trying to run a restaurant no one goes to. No matter how sad you are inside, what you see looks worse. I know how to get you out of your contract, but I gotta warn you, you will never work in the fast food industry again. Go on. If you want fairness, work at a sunglass hut. This is the sandwich game. Boo! Get the first aid kit! One Florence Nightingale in the box, and make it snappy! Oh! Hey, it's not corporate's fault. Really? But the franchise agreement says Mother Hubbard Inc. would provide adequate training for all employees, which they didn't. Give me back my original investment? I'll take full responsibility for this man's injuries. Please, tell me I'm still beautiful! We took on corporate America and broke even. Here, here! Sir, I... I think we've gone far enough to dispose of the body. 